we got some we got some idiots we got some idiots in the chat guys we got some idiots in the chat <laughs> all right guys you have came here to learn about doom the classic doom the doom that was made in 1982 I'm just gonna call it doom doom 3d what time is it fuck it's almost one can I put this in here I don't know if that's good or not uh, ah. oh. okay doom classic 3d doom is a magnificent game that I've never played but I did some research on it, and it's actually a, a brewing game changer. It was, it was actually such a game changer that it earned the title for first-person shooters of a Doom uh, clone. So whenever someone released a first-person shooter during that period of time, they'll be like, "That's a Doom clone." Their term died down over time, though, clearly, because we all call them first-person shooters now. So that's a more logical title. Anyway, in this video, I'll be focusing on three things. The disruption it caused as a game among many other game businesses, the audience it had within that period of time, and the flat out research I just gained through uh, doing research on the game. So Doom wasn't the first actual 3D uh, first person shooter or Doom clone, it was actually Wolfenstein, Wolfenstein 3D. But the fun fact is that Wolfenstein didn't quite push over the genre of first person shooters. Doom revolutionized what Wolfenstein did, even though they basically were made by the same people. To be honest, I couldn't find any research to why Wolfenstein wasn't the uh, successful partaker that Doom became. I have to say though, I am a big fan of the uh, remakes, the, the uh, new Dooms came out 2016 I believe, or 2015, one of those two years, and I'm excited for the new one, Doom, Doom Eternals looks really good, the gameplay looks real uh, slick and slack, real smooth, um, fast movement and all of that gooey content that you want within a Doom game. But yeah, basically Doom disrupted other game sales so much that they sold so many copies, uh, nobody else really bought any other games at the time I believe. It was mainly just Doom being sold because of how popular it became and how successful it became. <laughs> Fuck. Excuse me. Let's move on to the audience of Doom. Doom was rated MA15 plus at the time, at least I believe so, or maybe R18, because the gore was it was an 8-bit game, but the gore back then was very visceral for video games at that time. Like to nowadays, kids could probably play that game without being uh, traumatized as you can say but kids back then probably would be traumatized by that kind of gameplay because of how uh, gory it seemed back in those days now the most popular audiences within that game were like either young teenagers that were not allowed to play the game and had to have permission but they didn't have permission because it was like like there was like a free level in the game that, that was like a pretty good percentage of the gameplay that you could play and people would just repeat those missions, that free mission, and kids would just download it for free and play it without their parents' permission, because, like, they're kids. They're going to be rebellious, man. This is going to be such a bad video. Either the volume's going to be really disgustingly loud, or it's going to be perfectly fine. Like, I know, I know this is too close. Even uh, single men that worked on desk jobs would actually play it during their working hours. They would just download the uh, game and play it. And that became so popular and uh, painful bit for businesses that businesses had to have a uh, certain software downloaded onto the work computers so <laughs> people couldn't play the game. <laughs> the game also sold well over 2 million copies, which is a lot in that period of time. By far a lot by that period of time. I believe so, at least. So it was hugely successful. Now, back then, video games mostly used the uh, 
program is, I don't think it's called a program. <laughs> Use the effect uh, the game uh, the the game effect hit scan. Hit scan is basically where uh, you click and it's instant. No travel time. It it hits as soon as you click. Uh, but uh, projectiles do have a travel time. As you click, they project through the 3D game and hit whatever the enemy, the wall, etc. Until it gets a reaction or just dissipates and vanishes from the 3D world. Is that Coco over there? Coco, can you please come over? This is good. But yeah, that's basically Doom as a game changer. I will hope. I feel like I might just reshoot this video because the lighting's poor. The background is not symmetrical and poorly done. I literally just started recording on the dot because I felt like I wanted to do this video already. And I had all the notes written down and stuff like that. No, don't chew on the wire, you chungus brain. Hey, stop. Stop that. I will hit you. I will hit you. <coughs> right, let's just stop the recording. Thank you for watching.